Hello, in this video I'll be going through the electric guitar parts for the modern post song It Is Finished. Let's start by looking at the lead break. This happens at the start and a few times towards the middle of the song. Uh, so we're in the key of G for this one. To play the lead break we're starting on a G note, but we're going to be way up on the 15th fret on the E string, like that. Okay, so we hit that 15, then we're going to hit 12 on that same E string, then we're going to go to the B string and hit 15, and then 12, and then we're going to go to the G string and hit 14, 12. Okay, so together that sounds like this. And to get that kind of tone on my effects pedal, I'm using some delay and some rotary. Now let's move our attention to the verse. Uh, for the verse, I have taken off the rotary sound and now I'm mainly using a drive effect. Um, so let me show you what I was playing there. Um, so I'm again starting on a G note, but this time uh, I'm playing it on the low E string 3rd fret. I'm just playing that bass note until the chord changes and then I'm going to 7 on the A string, which is an E note, and then down to 5 on the A note, sorry the A string, which is a D note. And the verse does that twice before moving to the chorus. So moving on to the chorus, we're now going to be using octaves. If you're not sure what an octave is, it's when you're playing uh, the same note but at two different pitches. So we're going to be starting on a C octave, so I'll show you what that looks like. So I'll use my index finger on the third fret on the A string, and then I'll either use my third or fourth finger to then uh, hit the 5th fret on the G string, and that's the same note but at a different pitch. Uh, and I'll make sure that um, all of the other strings are muted and not making notes, so we've just got... Okay, um, so we'll have a bit of a closer look at the chorus now. So here's what we can be playing in the chorus. that lead break that we've already looked at. Uh, let me take you through the different notes for the chorus. So as I said before, we start on a C, which is on that third fret on the A string. Then we want to go to a G, which is third fret on the E string. And then we go to an E, seventh fret on the A string. And then we go down to the D, fifth fret, and then C, which is uh, the one we started on. So, Uh, and it does that twice. Uh, then the next step is you're going to an A, which is the 5th fret on the E string, then to the G, then to the 7, 5, 3, or the E, D, C. Um, and then it goes back to the 7, 5, 3, and then you want to be going back up to the... about changing that effect if you're able to. Now we come to the bridge, which happens between the second last and last chorus. Uh, so for this one we need to learn this lead line. And in between that particular line it just goes uh, from the G octave and when we do play the lead line, we're going to be playing that in octaves too. So let's come closer and I'll show you uh, the notes that I'm playing for the bridge. Um, so 
We've got a G to start with on the three. We're doing the octave again. So we've got G, then move it up to A, which is just two frets up, and then another two frets up to the B, and then we're going to slide from 10, which is a D, to 12, which is an E. So let me play that again. And like I said before, in between that we go and again. And that mimics the vocal line that's happening. So that's the bridge. Uh, as I've mentioned in some of my prior videos, your church won't necessarily be doing these songs in the same key as the recording. Uh, so at my church, for example, instead of playing the song in G, we play it in D. Uh, so if your church changes from G to D, for instance, uh, instead of going from the 15 to the 12, you'll be going from the 10 to the 7. And then instead of being on that note, you'll be going 5 on the A string to the 7 and 5 on the E string. Uh, and then the chorus, instead of going you'll have to be uh, up here to play the G. Like that. And then instead of this lead line, uh, you'll be starting on the D note. Like that. Uh, so there's just a few things to keep in mind. If your church does this in a different key, you'll just have to work out how many frets to move this down or up. You now know all of the different parts for It Is Finished. Uh, so to finish this video, I'm going to play through the lead line again, as well as some of the verse. And if you're feeling up to it, you can play along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> 